Hi everyone, in this program you're going to find the LCM of two numbers. So as opposed to the HCF or GCD, the LCM of two numbers is the smallest positive integer that is perfectly divisible by the two given numbers. So you're going to write a program that is going to ask the user for two numbers, then it is going to return the least common multiple of the two numbers. So pause the video attempt the mini program i'm sure you're going to do awesome and uh, after three seconds you're going to see my solution all right how was the program i'm sure you did great so i'm going to say num1 and i'm going to enter input ask the user enter first number and i'm going to also ask the user to enter the second number so I'm going to say second number, let's convert it to two. Perfect. So first I'm going to check if a number, if num1 is less than or equal to zero, or let me put this in parentheses so it is better readable. That's just for readability purposes. If num2 is less than or equal to zero, what do we want to do? We want to print to the user entered me add quotes entered numbers uh, cannot be zero or come on or less than. so they cannot be zero or less and this is where the magic happens so I'm just going to create a function and I'm going to say calculate uh, LCM perfect and I'm gonna pass in number one and number two first we need to choose which one is the greatest number the, in this case we are going to choose the greatest so if num number one uh, if num one is greater than num two uh, we are going to say that greater is going to be equal to num one in any other case else uh, greater is going to be equal to num2 now after we have selected that we are going to check for as long as this greater is true for as long as this is true it means that we do have a greater number then what do we want to do we want to grab this greater number and we're going to say modulo number one num1 um, you know what I'm just gonna grab these and this should be this parameter that we need that we pass in here so I'm gonna say number uh, one so let me add that let me remove it let's add it and let's remove that part and I'm gonna fix the other one as well so as long as it is equal to zero and greater modulo number two is equal to zero what do we want to do so let me grab this add in br ber we want to create a variable and i'm going to call it lcm greater not greater lcm number is going to be equal to the greater number that we have perfect and then we want to break out of this loop because right after that we don't want to do anything else we want to break out of this if statement and then we are going to grab the greater and we are going to add on one to it for as long as this is true and when it is not true it is not going to do anything else so then we are going to return the lcm number i'm going to go out of the function and I'm, then i'm going to call that function so i'm going to say the lcm is calculate LCM let's pass in num1 and num2 let's save that we have no errors that's a good sign let me run this program I'm going to pass in uh, so we know that if we pass in 12 and 14 we should get 84 I'm not really sure why is it why it is taking long so 12 and 14 we do get 84 but what if i run this program again and if i pass in 
10 and 25. So what is the smallest number that is perfectly divisible by 10 and 25? I mean, is it 25? 25 is perfectly divisible by 25, but it is not by 10 because we end up with a decimal point. What about 30? 30 is perfectly divisible by 10, but not 25. What about 40? Again, not 25. But what about 50? It is perfectly divisible by 10 and 25, and it is the smallest number that can do that because we have 100 that, that can do the same thing, but it is not the smallest number. We're looking for the smallest number that can be divided by the two numbers that we have. So if I hit enter, we get 50. That's going to be it. Let me just capitalize this one. For this mini program, see you in the next one.